hope everyone's having a fabulous day. My name is Tony Derrick and welcome to the How to Craft Network studio. In today's studio, I am going to be showing you a lovely stamp set called Walks in the Rain. And I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, impactive card with this face design and that beautiful, fascinating design over across the face. So let's get started. So first of all, in that specific stamp set, you get the design in two sizes, which is beautiful because this is incredible for the focal point of your card. And then this can be used on the envelope. So not only do we have a pretty card, you're also going to have the capability to make beautiful envelopes. So let's use the large lady here and we'll just pop it onto this acrylic block here. This design really does not need much doing. All we need to do is add some colour and accentuate maybe those lips and that fascinator. And we're going to have a beautiful, crisp, clean image on our card. So I'm just inking up that design there. I'm just going to take some white cardstock. And I'm just going to stamp the beautiful design just in the top corner here. Get all of that design in there. And then you have the most gorgeous, gorgeous design. So let's remove the lady's face and let's pop a beautiful sentiment in here. So you do have some fabulous sentiments. We have celebrate, you are Wonder Woman. She acts like summer, but she walks like rain. Really impactive, positive sentiments. You go girl. So let's use the word celebrate. So I'm just going to pop this onto a smaller block here. Just going to pick up that stamp. And again, I think I'm going to go black, keep it in theme. And then I'm just going to pop celebrate down by the base here. Now, of course, you could elevate this design slightly with a hue of colour around. If you wanted to, maybe add some texture, add some stencil work behind. There are simply no rules with these stamps. They do carry themselves incredibly well. So let's just add some colour to this beautiful fascinator. So I have my metallic paints here. So I'm just going to accentuate that design and make it pop from the page. So I'm just going to pick up some of this lovely gold here. I'm just going to add a touch of gold to her beautiful fascinator. Just highlights just in some of those lovely areas. And this is just, this is a shimmery gold effect. So this is just going to catch that light when it's handed to your beautiful recipient. And it's going to be sure to put a smile on their face as well as it will do yours or being the creator of such a fabulous card. So exciting. I'm going to do the top there and let's just add some detail to the base. So I'm not being precise in my painting. I'm literally just adding highlights and some of those curves in that design. And I think this lady is crying out for some beautiful red lipstick. So I'm just going to take some of the beautiful red here. I'm just going to add a lovely red lip. He really is popping from that page. And then all I'm going to do is just very quickly just dry this off so we don't get any fingerprints. Very appropriate for proms, for events, for celebratory events, weddings, anniversaries. And then I'm just going to mount this onto a coloured top folding note card. We could put sequins in her fascinator too, which would be really beautiful. So let's just mount this onto our card here. Push it down. And there we have 
a four and a quarter by five and a half, five and a half um, card. Really, really impactive, little to no effort, one and done, one stamp, add some colour and you have a creative card. I hope you liked that little demonstration. Don't forget to check out the rest of our uh, lovely inspiration on our channel with all of the lovely products that we create here at Stamps By Me. Take care everyone, bye.